Hey. Hi guys, it's Monday and today it is December 23rd, but I keep thinking it's like the last day before Christmas because tomorrow the 24th is actually the day that I'm doing pretty much all of my Christmas events. So I feel like this is the last day before the day, even though for most people it's not. But I have a lot of things to get done today. Luckily, like my Christmas shopping is all finished. So I don't have to worry about that, but there is a bunch of things I have to pick up and I'm nervous the stores might be busy, but the ones I'm going to shouldn't really be affected. I left my laptop at the office, so we gotta go do a little office trip, grab that. There is a DIY I'm working on for Austin for Christmas that I need to finish today. So I have to go grab a couple supplies for that. But that's like the craft store, fabric store, one of those two places. And I have to go try on a bridesmaid dress because I already know which one I need to get. I just want to confirm my size and then go order that before I forget about it for the holidays. <laughs> what else do I need to do? Oh, just a couple little things. Oh, I need to go to the um, post office. I was like the mailbox. No, post office because a package came in and I think it's the cover for our ottoman that I ordered forever ago. I think it's finally here, which is great. And yeah, all that random stuff. So let's get to it. Wait, look at these little wrapped burritos. I think these are the air plant holders that we made. <laughs> We had Allie go pick them up because she was close to the area to grab them. Wow, I'm excited to take my little glass burrito home. Guys, look how cute he is. <laughs> he reminds me of, I don't know, like either a minion or one of those like old school deep sea diving suits. I don't know, but I love it so much. I opted to do no bottom so that it could hang, which I love. And the plan for this was, I've got a bunch of cuttings and stuff like this that are just chilling in jars growing new roots, but I thought that this could be the new little cutting zone, cutting jar, so I could hang um, cuttings in this hole with water and then they could grow new roots and be replanted and propagated. So I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll swap these out for a, a cuter jar. Okay, so little last minute DIY project for Austin's Christmas gift. So I already got him concert tickets for Christmas and this vlog will be up by the time holidays happen, so it doesn't matter that I'm saying it now. They are pretty expensive, so I wasn't planning on getting him anything else. I had to preface this story. He has an 80s Camaro. That's like his DIY baby. He's always working on that. Same way I'm always working on this house. So he was like, I really want a super retro 80s jacket that I can wear when I drive the Camaro. The classic neon colorful print like sweatsuit type things that you remember from the 80s. I was like, okay, that's a pretty specific ass. Plus I already got you something. So I thought I'm only gonna do it if I happen to be at the thrift store and I just see something that's right. If I don't find it before Christmas, then it's not gonna happen. And it's just, if I see it, then I'll pick it up. Literally like the next day we were at the thrift store for a video or something and I found this. Can you see it? It's so bright. Yeah, this is like the most 80s jacket, ski jacket. It's like neon pink purple, yellow, it has the triangle design on it. <laughs> and I just saw it in the men's section. I was like, some things are just meant to be. And I was like, well, okay, I will pick it up. And that will be part of his Christmas gift as well. So one thing I wanted to do was customize it a little bit since it is gonna be the, <laughs> the 80s Camaro jacket was I picked up some patches that I wanted to put on the jacket to make it even more like fitting or of a gift. So we've got the Camaro logo patch and then this little like NASCAR race car racing flag patch. And then I also ordered a patch that said um, the year of the car in this really cool 80s font and it was like pink and purple but it hasn't gotten here yet. Christmas is in like two days. I don't think it's gonna get here which is a little annoying. I can always add it later though but anyways so when I was out today shopping picked up some embroidery thread that I didn't have the jacket with me. Oh yeah matched pretty well so I'm just going to embroider these patches onto the jacket and then that will be the gift. That's perfect. Where I should do this one, I'll figure it out. I was gonna do the year on the sleeve. We'll start with this one. Okay, the hand embroider was looking way too chunky and I didn't love it, so I decided to nix it and I just used the sewing machine with white thread so that you literally can't see it at all. And I don't know, this looks much more legit. I was trying to be creative, you know, do a fun outline, but whatever. This looks so much better, so this is gonna get wrapped up before Austin gets home and then that's the end. My Christmas prep. I'm so excited to be done. Airplane hanger is now up on a little hook. Someone came over and also said it looks like Plankton from Spongebob, which is also a hilarious 
idea of what it looks like. So I need to put some water in it, move this plant up, and then we'll see it finished. All right, this is, I can't even call it air plant anymore because it's not. It's basically like a hanging vase. It's the propagation station with uh, some pothos in it. And I love it, it's so cute. Hi guys, it is, was the day before Christmas and all through the car. Presents were packed, Jenna was picked up. Jenna, have you heard of felting? Oh, Wait. yeah, Cut, yeah. You know it? Look, I'm a felter Stucky now. Dam. I'm trying to make Georgie, which is my grandparents' dog. This is the beginning of it. I finished the mushroom, just needs its cork bottom. But look, I made this. The good thing is it's Christmas time and I feel like felting makes good Christmas ornaments. Hey, Jenna, Yeah. you want coffee? Guys, we're already so late. I know, so. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter then. These kids and their Where, coffee. What's best? Don't drink best coffee, best otherwise you'll be addicted and all your plans will be ruined. <laughs> Probably neither. Which one's closer and better? The one. I didn't end up saying what was happening, but we've been driving to Coburg to do some family things, and so I've been felting this entire time. I was making Georgie, which I will insert a photo or video here. So he currently has two ears, a mouth, three legs. But like not bad for first time. I honestly think it looks better in real life than on my camera. And this took me like two hours to make. How do people make money doing this? I guess they don't. There goes my idea of having an Etsy shop. Austin, what did you get for Christmas? <laughs> a helicopter. Oh my goodness. Danny, Danny's ah. not a fan. <laughs> oh, hello! Okay, what do you think of the jacket? Be honest. Does it look like I'm from the 80s? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Your best 80s move. Yeah, that's all I know. We need some synth music in the background. It's exactly what I was thinking. Merry Christmas. And then Danny got this game, which he's still working on figuring out. He knows it does something. <laughs> the idea is when he takes the ball and drops it in the top, it gives him treats. But he's got to learn to do it himself. Get the ball. See, he knows to pick it up because he, you gotta bring the ball he took it, but he doesn't know. He's got to put it in the top. So close! Danny, oh, he takes the ball and he drops it right beside it, but you got to get it in the top for the treats to come out. Push it in. <gasps> Good boy! Good boy! We're getting closer to figuring it out, huh? Bring the ball here. Come here. Now drop it in the hole. Oh, you're so close, bud. Take this. Yeah, it goes in here. Oh, <laughs> you're so close! You're so close! Danny, we got to take it in here. No. Oh, I did that for you. Hi guys, it is the... Hi you guys. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna not say that. It is Friday, you know, it's like Friday of the break. Don't really have work to do. Did I get a parking ticket? No. Yes. We're in David's car, my car is parked right there. I bought a parking pass online, but sometimes I don't print it out because I'm saving paper or because I'm lazy and sometimes I'll still get a ticket but I can fight it because it's like I did buy a pass I just didn't put it in my car anyways didn't get a ticket going to a little morning movie it's like not even 10 a.m. but we're gonna go see Castle in the Sky which is a Miyazaki film never seen a Miyazaki film it's anime it's like a traditional anime and um, we're gonna go to a new theater actually it's an originally a theater and then it closed for like 13 years it's called paradise theater in toronto and they just like refinished and reopened it in december so we're going there for the first time support local theaters and then after that i have a busy day i have to go to my house i'm picking up the paint for my house today and then also my family's coming over and we are going to the zoo to do i don't even think we're gonna see any animals but i don't know you'll have to see because i honestly don't really know so i'm gonna stop trying to explain it goodbye okay, Art Deco? Is that what we would call this? Oh my god, Car Concrete Floor Inspo. So as part of my family's Christmas present, I got us tickets to Terra Lumina, which is this like art, light, sound installation. It takes place at the Toronto Zoo, and it's all outside. Can't see anything. <laughs> Hey. 
everyone and welcome to a couple days after Christmas. <laughs> it is Sunday now. Christmas was the beginning of this week. I took a couple days to just be with my family and relax and have like the best time and it was wonderful. So I hope your holidays were amazing too. I think my, my family just wanted me to be like a cozy creature this holiday and I'm not mad. This is the, the miniest ever what I got for Christmas haul. None of you asked, but I'm just gonna share it with you. Austin's brother got me this hat in the nicest color ever. Austin got me this robe, which is, oh my God. I don't know why I've never owned a robe like this before. I love being in blankets, but this is a blanket you can wear and it's portable. Thank you. <laughs> my sister got me these leggings, which are like so high-waisted that I am living for them. And Austin also got me these slippies, which yes, so warm, so cozy. This is now my outfit for the rest of the Christmas break. That's all I'm wearing. <laughs> I don't have a lot to say besides I do feel very grateful for the friends and the family that I have. It was such a wonderful time spending time with family and holidays and I hope you had a wonderful time as well and this is me wishing you a great holiday week. Next week is New Year's Eve so that will be fun. We have some plans for that tonight. What else? What else? I don't know. Not much else. I've just, I've literally been enjoying just chilling. <laughs> like I haven't had time to just sit and breathe in a while and this has been like everything that I've needed to recharge and <laughs> feel great again. So happy holidays. It's Sunday so I'm leaving you here for the end of this vlog but we'll see you very shortly for next week's vlog. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, big things happening in 2020. Our schedule is a little cray which is why I'm really enjoying this break. So subscribe if you haven't yet and we'll see you next week. Bye.